Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We are in the process of solving problems having to do with division of fractions. Division of fractions, we are on page number 22. We are solving sample problems. We did few yesterday, one through four. Today we'll begin, we'll pick up from number five. After doing the 10 sample problems that you see on page number 22, after having done those 10 problems, if you feel that you need more practice, you need some extra practice, there are some more videos that you can watch. These day number five and six, T's math, day 5 and day 6, you will find some more problem dealing with the division of fractions. T math on the T's, you know, is very similar to what you will encounter on, on HESI. Similarly, there is, there is a series of basic math on day number 51 and 52 in, in basic math. We did some more problems having to do with division of fractions, dividing one fraction by another. Let's get going. Today is our lesson number 30. Today is our lesson number 30, not 29. Problem number five is where we're going to pick up from. In problem number five, we are being asked to divide. We're being asked to divide eight into quarters. Now listen, this is a silly question. This is a very silly question. So we can actually do it out in a very academic way, very conventional, very orthodox, very geeky, very nerdy, very traditional way, or we can just understand it at the gut level. If I have a pizza, if I have a pizza, and if I if I'm being asked to cut it into quarters, how many quarters would I have? Well, the reason why it's called quarters is because there are four quarters. Each pizza is made up of four quarters. How many pizzas do we have? We have eight pizzas. If you have eight pizzas and you start cutting them into quarters, how many quarters will you get? Obviously 32, because each one of those pizzas has four quarters and there are eight of them. So eight times four is 32. That's what we'll get. That's what we'll find. Eight, which is same, which same as eight over one, division becomes multiplication we learned yesterday. and we have to multiply it by the reciprocal of the other one. So 1 over 4 is going to become 4 over 1. And voila, we'll end up with 8 times 4, which is 32. 1 times 1 is 1, which of course is 32. But that was a very damn silly thing to do here. Of course, we have to understand at the gut level that obviously 8, when cut into quarters, will yield 32 quarters. Let's do number 2, number 6. Let's do number 6. Number six, I just noticed, is equally silly. They're asking us to take two and a quarter and divide it into quarters. Take two and a quarter and divide it into quarters. Let's do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. So here's our one pizza, here's our other pizza, and here's the third pizza. But in the third pizza, we don't have a whole of the pizza. We don't have a whole of a pizza. We only have a quarter of it. We only have a quarter of it. There you go. You see? Are you able to see? Two, one, two, and a quarter. Two, one, two, and a quarter. Two and a quarter. We are, we are being asked to divide it into quarters. How many quarters do you suppose this is going to make? It's going to make nine quarters because this one is, is, has four quarters. One, two, three, four. That one has four quarters. Five, six, seven, eight. And here's another quarter. The answer is 9. 2 and a quarter, when chopped up into quarters, yields 9 quarters because 2 has 8 quarters and then, then there's another extra quarter. So there are 9 quarters. Let's do it out. We're going to do it out just for the sake of practice, but intuitively I hope you are able to see that this is a damn silly question. 2 and a quarter, we have to first write it in a mixed fraction. So 2 can be written as 8 over 4, which is 2, plus a 1 quarter. That's, that's two and a quarter. We're being asked to divide it into quarters. Eight plus one is nine, so this is nine quarters, and the division is going to become multiplication. Division becomes multiplication, and one over four is going to become four over one. Divide top and bottom by four, four is going to cancel out, and the answer is one. Nine, the answer is nine. Nine divided by one is nine, which is, which is exactly what we said it should be. We didn't have to do all of this out. Obviously, Two and a quarter will have nine quarters in it. What else did you expect to find? Let's do number seven. 
Number seven. Number seven is again just a just a silly, damn silly question. Ten divided by three and one third. Ten divided by three and one third. How many three and one third do you suppose ten has? Let's take a look. Ten has how many three and one thirds do you suppose? Ten can be broken up into three, three, and three. Three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. We don't have nine. We have ten. We're missing one. We're missing one. So far, we have taken care of nine. So far, we have taken care of nine. We have another extra one, which has which can be divided up into three parts again. Three and one third. Three and one third. Three and one third. How many? How many? If you divide ten into three and one thirds, how many three and one thirds do you suppose you will find? Three of them. Because three threes are nine, three threes are nine, and three thirds are one. One third plus one third plus one third is another one. Answer is three. The answer to this problem is three, as you can clearly see here. Let's do it out, shall we? Let's do it out just for practice. Ten, which can be written as ten over one. Divided by three and one third. Three and one third is can be written as nine third plus one third, which is ten thirds. So we have ten and one third, ten 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 over one, divided by ten and one third, and that in turn is becomes ten over one, and division becomes multiplication sign, and ten over three becomes three over ten. We see ten on the top, we see ten on the bottom. Ten is going to cancel out, and it's just three divided by one. The answer is three. As we said, damn silly question it was. Bloody, bloody silly problem it was. But that's what it is. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.